standing. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another tutorial video. It's a boy. Welcome, welcome, welcome again to another video. <laughs> it's a boy, Eldorado. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification button, and click all so you can get the post notifications as soon as I upload the videos. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Eldorado Productions, and also on Audio Mac at Eldorado Productions. Visit my website to see the bunch of goodies that I have there. Anyways, I cooked up this um beat just for the sake of this um tutorial video five keys library you can use from contact during your reggae productions however it's it, it's more like the songs that i want to hear right now i want a little bit of um reggae something you know got something reggae going on so these are libraries that um producers like doing reggae beats also use and um doing the course of certain films i've i've, I've watched i heard a, a couple songs from from these libraries and other things so may I try to make this video as short as possible with the progression and the sounds that i've been using so it's five reggae five keys library that you can use on your reggae productions first and foremost is scarby classic ep from native instruments um it has a wide variety of presets you can really use uh, click on use and scroll through sound you have the the, the the it is simple as possible as clicking one page to the next and you have your tuning your effects and whatever the case may be now uh to me it is not a bright sounding um keys keyboard sound and it has a lot of you know effects on it so you can really um do a little bit of sound design with it so this is the progression that i have with this particular um library so so we have a nice vibe going on already we can hear the the, the the sound it is it is not really bright nor really too dull it, you just have a focused sound that's what i love about this um plugin this library why i keep on saying that um second on this list is <coughs> however you pronounce that scarby or painter painter some sort of net uh, it's a Scarby library also from native instruments. It is native to a native instrument and as you can see you have basic functionality and you have a lot of presets here also and you can quite a few presets you can save um, preset as you, 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 you see fit. Now it's a straightforward sound and it doesn't really have as much as we are called, you know, controls as possible, but it, it, it's a great sounding plugin. So it is second on this list. Um, and this is the progression that I have with it. Um, it is really nice sound. It, it, it has this fuzzy sound to it, and I'm really liking it. So it's another song that you can use on the reggae productions. Also, I know that a lot of um, um, African people over in, in Ghana watching these videos and a lot of people in the Bronx and Washington area um, watching this video. Also. So we did really want to touch on some topics like, like reggae. We are constantly in reggae because, you know, I've been questioned quite a number of times about um, sounds for reggae. I do mostly dance on and tutorials and so forth. So that's why I touched on topic like this. So third on this list is no other than um, Scarby. It's an another library from this native instrument also. 
Let's see what this light up near. Because for some reason, it near. Yeah, Scarby Vintage Key. And for this module, module I use the, the, the Mark 1 um, library. It has a variety of sounds in it. You have the Scarby A200, Scarby Clav, Clavinet, whatever that is. I have the Scarby Mark 1 in Scarby Vintage Key. I guess this is supposed to be in this one also, if I'm correct. Let me look. Both fears in. Yep. It's it. Yeah, it's it. So basically the same thing, but Scarby Vintage Key. I you I for this particular one I select the Mark One preset. As you can see, it is pretty much straightforward. There are a bunch of presets also, and this is what it sounds like. Moving on to the next plugin, trying to keep this video as short as possible. Um, fourth on this list is. Why I keep the vintage organs? Yeah, I tend to forget some of this plugin's name. And the the, the priest the, the preset that I use for this one is No Woman No Cry by Bob Marley. Yeah, so <laughs> for this uh particular um progression, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> have a lot of um, sounds within this vintage organ you have default jazz classic rock transistor gospel and church funk and reggae um, host and disco theater and entertainer and special whatever the case what is special down there but I went into the funk and reggae um, section in which I know that when I see no woman not cry from the longer time this is this this is the organ that I use on my reggae beats, and most of the time, most of the time, this is the organ that I use because it, it has a very organic sound. It is not extremely low that it fit in ear and so forth like that. So when you come out to sound selection, uh, for contact libraries, these are live sounds that have been recorded and put into the plugin, into the library. I mean, it is not a synthesized organ sound like some organs. Um, they're, they're highly synthesized and it really sound annoying. So for this particular one, regardless of the high notes um, that I was on with this progression, it doesn't sound that harsh. It is a, it, it is round around the edges. <laughs> uh, fifth on this list is Neo Soul Keys. As you can see, it is a, a really nice plugin. Why do I keep on saying that? It is a really nice library for contact. And this is the sound progression that I choose with this particular preset, Jamal Funk. And it, it, it is a really nice plugin. It has all these fears course reverb delay distortion it has a whole lot of things where you can get an enormous amount of sounds so for when you come on to sound designing for reggae also even though you want to keep it as natural as possible as you can as you know sometimes you can really spice up things make it sound really different and more modern so this has a lot of control where you can really just play with the knobs them until you just get one sound where you like so this is a particular sound that i had for the progression I had for this um, library. So it's a really, it, those are the five library and it's a really simple beat that I've made for the sake of this tutorial video. And this is what it sounds like. Voila.
have a vibe. You have a vibe. I really like it. So, as you can see, there's not a lot of instruments within this particular beat, but I tried to keep it as simple as possible so that I could do this tutorial video for y'all. So, hope you appreciate it. If you don't like it, you know what to do. If you like it, you know what to do. If you think anything else or have any other su suggested library that you think I could use, please do leave it in the comments below. So, until uh, next time, it's about LR don't think. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that no, um, bell. Yeah, smash that bell and select all so you can get the post notification as soon as I upload videos. So, Peace out.